another quick and dirty tear down with more HP gear from the same ham pest as I got the HP 3455 this is a HP 3495A scanner what does it scan? well, power goes in here heat sink a couple of BNC's and an HBIB connector on the back on the front we have only a power switch and some sort of display so what is this thing scanning? Well, looking at the manual, it would seem that in here there's a door, this is a door which opens, and a million wires can go in and go to terminations, screw terminals in there. And this is just full of little read relays. And under control of the HPIB, it turns the relays on and off to connect all the stuff that you've got going into it to other terminals which might go to a meter in fact it was designed I believe to go with the HP 3455 so you have all these inputs that you want to measure voltages on say from thermocouples or whatever and it would automatically uh, under control of the HPIB select via read relays which of those inputs gets routed to the uh, HP 3455 meter which would also be on the HPIB bus its reading would then be recorded another command would go into here to make it select the next input and apparently it can whiz around pretty quickly you can uh, some of these read relays can operate at like a kilohertz uh, it's, it seems particularly uh, designed for thermocouples it's got a uh, compensation thermistor in there that you use for the cold end calculation which can also be selected to put its output on the HPIB that's all I know about it I'm just going to open up and have a look inside I've just loosened the screws it's got captive screws there on the door and there's all our switching modules and there's like a whole set of op different options that you can plug in different switching modules you can plug in um, to, for different purposes but lots of terminal blocks and you can see a bunch of relays in there some of them are armature relays some of them are read relays so it looks like we're missing plug-ins for those hmm I've been ripped off okay let's try and get the covers off so just one screw on the end of these side panels and they slide back and like the multimeter, one screw at the back and the lid comes off. A power supply with some 2N3055, not a not a HP part number. How nice. And a bit of circuitry up the front. I think these there's a number of modules in here which plug into edge connectors on the side of these things these edge connectors down here so have to get those out so that then these are free to come up because at the moment the boards plugged into the edge connectors prevent these lifting but how do I get into there See these these things come out, and there's the edge connector that goes to those vertical boards at the front. So in this one, we have a whole whack of re oh, sorry armature relays. It's fairly heavy, so I think it's just covered in them. It looks like well, one, two, three, four, five times four, so twenty of them in that. And so there's those input terminals. I'll like pull that the pull. There's another of the same type of those. Okay. 
Actually, sorry, the, these are the amateur relays. The, those yellow ones are probably the reed relays. There's about six or eight relays down inside of that. You can see the relays in there a bit better. And this module. I think maybe they're the reed relays. Big buffy ones. I think there was one of those inside the HP multimeter that I was just had open. Yeah. Little door somewhere. Yeah. I think if I loosen those, this will flip up. A little bit. Oh, that's a plug bit. Okay, yes. These are the reed relays. All those others, I guess, are armature types, or maybe those yellow ones are another sort of reed relay. Well, not that interesting, is it? One of these modules apparently has a thermistor in it to measure the temperature at this end of the thermocouple connection which is then used in calculations to work out what the real temperature is by looking up tables and the temperature measured at this end is used to compensate for the fact that this is not at zero degrees as the tables that you look up assume that's what I gathered from reading the manual anyway. As you can tell, I'm no bloody expert on this. I'm just hacking it apart. Disappointed there isn't a whole lot more fancy electronics, but oh well, can't have everything. Well, let's have a look at some of these boards. The, the manual for this is, it's like, it's despite the simplicity of its function, there's over 200 pages of how to set this up and you, it's a real nightmare with options going, you know, setting addresses here, um, you can connect multiple of these things together, getting all the wiring sorted, it's, it's, uh, I can't help thinking there should have been an easier way. Yeah, that's the board, just the same as that one, and these two are the same as each other. Can complicated. There's all this detail of how you uh, go through the sequence as it, as it scans. I won't pretend to know how it worked. I read a bit of it and got a headache. And now this little board here, ah, ah, I've been looking for one of these, this is good. This, get out of the evil, but oh no, there's still another module here. It's got to slide out, so we have a bit more electronics. Next to the heat sink there was another slide out module and he's got a X tool. Can't quite see the frequency. 5 megahertz, 5.000 I believe. And he also plugged into this <laughs> so it's just a right angle junction I was hoping this would, was a spare um, extender card that you just plug into those slots and then put one of these up here but it wasn't and there's the power supply and there's got to be some more electronics behind there for the display thing what will happen if I just stick some bolts in it eh? I'll leave all, I'll leave all that out I'll put it back in yeah, I'll put all that stuff back in and then just plug in the power, turn it on, see what it, see what it does. Well, all that stuff plugged back in there without too much trouble. I was surprised, actually, because sometimes just getting in this HP equipment, even just getting a card like this, just, just with nothing, no edge connectors on the side, just getting one of those to slide down and seat properly can sometimes be much more difficult than it ought to be. So all that stuff plugged in rather well. Okay, I've stuck the mains in at the end, 
So let's see if we can make some smoke. Do that, here we go. Anything? Ah, woke up. The lead come on. Something dicky there. Power switch is a bit dicky. So I don't think any of these displays do anything unless, as it says, channels are selected. Unless it receives commands over the HPIB to select uh, all those relays one way or the other, it won't display anything there. So, that was a quick and dirty teardown of a HP 3495A scanner. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, give, it, give it a thumbs up if you did. Catch you later.